How's it going guys, it's Fresh. So in today's video, we're going to be discussing the future of anime adventures. Well, not really the future, but more like the legacy of anime adventures. So I made a video the other day stating that anime adventures has been taken down. It's, it's crazy news, we've all heard it, it's sad. However, I stumbled upon this gem uh, a couple of days ago. Uh, it's called Anime Clash. Um... And I do have hopes for this game. So I was scrolling through Twitter and I saw this project being worked on. It looks like by Road, Jameer, Yamir, Yamir, I think it's Yamir. Uh, and then these lads. And they're all working on basically Anime Clash. So Anime Clash apparently is not a terror defense. Okay, so this game is not a terror defense. So this is what Road said. Um, but uh, yeah, the, the, this guy right here. Uh, interesting profile. Uh, I am Roots. But uh, this game is not a tower defense. I say tower defense because it's the easiest way to explain it. But a better term is wave defense. The cool part in this game is that uh, some units can be placed. Your units also go and fight and actually clash with the enemies and you can attack as well. Of course, we have many other systems that are unique, but I needed to clarify. Thank you all. When we release gameplay, it will be much more clear. But I will not release any until a perfect product is ready to show. So it sounds like it's going to be somewhat still like a tower defense. But it looks like our enemy, our like placements, our, our uh, towers or whatever is going to clash like an actual battle against the unit and our character. Um, is what I'm trying to get at. So picture like maybe like a castle in the middle. Um, and then you have like enemies that might attack it. Um, and then your units can clash, like actually fight. So I think that's what I'm picturing. And I, it's similar to Tower Defense, but apparently it's not. Um, so it's pretty cool. Um, and then they're basically, um, they're just working on the game. Apparently it's going to come out mid-January from what I heard. Um, and then, uh, yeah. So I wanted to tell you guys about this project. I'm going to put the link in the description down below. Um, I, I do have good hopes for it. Um, you know, games can fail, but... I mean, I I think this game might do well. I know I said that for Anime Tales, and the game flopped. Uh, however, it was a really good game. I, I want to revisit Anime Tales again, and I, I always do revisit Anime Tales, because uh, it's still a very one of my favorite games. Uh, Kelvin did a good job. But apart from that, go let's go look at the sneak peeks, and if you want to check out the server and things like that for yourself, it'll be in the description down below. So right now it's carrying this game from what I've noticed on is their effects. And here is an example. Uh, bam. Yeah, that, that, that's pretty cool. Um, and moving on. It looks like we have Gojo. Uh, I, I never really watched Jujutsu Kaisen. I don't know what they're called. They're, they're called like Infinity. Or uh, their Dimension Spear Dimension. I don't even know. Um, then this. This is Gilgamesh, I believe. Um, so that looks sick uh, as well. Uh, this one is. I don't even know what this is. This might be hollow. This might be something with Jujutsu Kaisen. Uh, that looks good. Uh, and then there's. Uh, it looks like a Rasane Shuriken. So that looks really good as well. And then we have Spirit. Uh, I don't even know what this is. But uh, Arcadia Anime Clash game. So let me go to the Twitter anime clash game so yeah i am following them on twitter uh, and uh, yeah they they should do a very good job or uh, this 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 game's gonna do pretty well here it is hollow purple um so that's that's pretty cool uh and here it is again from an angle they did a very good job with some of these and this is a excalibur let me okay let me turn this on yeah that looks pretty sick so this is Anime Clash. Um, I, it's promising. It looks really, really good. Uh, they have their update logs and everything like that. New units and everything they're adding. So it looks like we have this priority system. Enemies have different priorities, but they can be sent to including base unit and boss. Base. These units are slower, but will head straight for your base without caring about any units attacking them. So this could mean that a unit could continue to go to your base 
while your your uh, helper is still attacking them. Unit, these are def default units, they attack your units, and no one is in range, they'll attack your base. And then boss, yeah, these are units, minions spawned by the bosses that will stay within a certain range of the boss and attack whenever it's near other than your base or units. Benefits is, by owning a set of units, Goku and Vegeta for example, and having them both equipped, you gain a buff of some sort of both those units as a result. So, it looks like different like um, teams could have helped. Uh, and every four hours you can claim three spins from an NPC free, by the way. And these spins do not stack. I know you have to be five spins. Additionally, if you're a max level, we okay. So it looks like it's going to have a gacha system like it. It adventures and all the other gacha games. So I do like that. Um, and that's pretty cool. So yeah, this is Anime Clash. It's looking good. Um, and yeah, I don't... I don't know what the heck is happening here, um, but I, I think you guys should check it out. Um, and I think I think it's going to do pretty well. Um, I'm excited to see what the future has for us, but expect a release in January 2024 if everything goes well. I hope you guys have a good one. Make sure to like, subscribe if you enjoyed this, and I'll see you all later.